Okay, so we're going to be attempting Shinra building in the Crisis Dungeon on Very Hard. As you can see, I scored an S+. Plus. So I'm going to show you how you can do the same. So we got Cloud here with the Murasame, which is going to help to break triangle sigils. And we got Aerith with an X to help out for X sigils. And uh, the edged wings for Sephiroth is going to really help for the X sigil breaking, which a majority of the enemies are. Well, actually, the majority triangle. <laughs> But you need both. Anyway. But um, the mirror zombie will take care of that. But uh, you, wanna, you want your cloud at as high as physical attack as you can. Uh, high amount of HP. Aerith, you want high heals, high HP. And Sephiroth, you want high magic and high HP. The fatigue is going to come in handy for Rufus. And the poison is going to be vital for Aerith to have. Um, Alright, well, let's just get right in. Enough said. Show the run. So let's head right over here. Open this up. Don't be afraid to use items because this is a very, this is a pretty difficult um, dungeon. And it shouldn't affect your score too much. As long as you're able to clear the enemies out with relative ease. So the Scorpion is going to hit us with an AoE that's going to really like do a lot of damage. <laughs> you could bring something to counter that, but since the only one, he's the only one that has a move like that, I, I'm not really too worried about it. What is he weak to? This one might be weak to lightning. Oh, he's weak, weak to fire. So it would be nice to get Hellfire up before this is over. So here comes the tail laser. Yep, as you can see, that does a lot of damage. Now we just need to get out of here quickly. There's Hellfire. Let me just go ahead and use it. Use Healing Winds as well. Since he's one hit away, it's, it's really smart to heal b before getting out of battles. So you go into the next one with, with as much health as possible. Fifty six is good. Yeah, do not be afraid to use your alts. We're gonna go ahead and take the physical attack. You could take the healing potency if you're um if you need it. But I like to do more damage. Let's get up here and grab the box. And then we're going to go take out some ads. You want to take them out now. So you're not taking them out with the dungeon level at like 4 or whatever. Because then they have a really good shot at killing you. You should never have to use any alts on these guys. Especially because I plan to use some um, supplements after this anyway. Before going into the death machine fight. Hopefully Claire can get his hellfire back up because it really comes in handy for that fight. Clear out the two side uh, death machines. Luckily, my Aerith is at a high heal. I 
Oh, I was hoping to get that healing wind off before getting out of there. That's all good. Okay, so that takes care of that. So now let's head down here and face off against the death machines. But before that, we're going to we're going to juice up cuz they do have poison. I didn't get the healing wind off before, so I could either go in there and use it or actually I'll probably heal beforehand. Okay, let's get right in there, drop both the summons and Hopefully, both the um, side death machines go down. Just wait for it. Okay, now. Diamond Dust does a ton of damage. Hellfire will clean up the rest. That takes care of that. Now, Aerith should be focusing on unpoisoning everyone. Oof, we didn't get that barrier off him. Go for the healing wind. Just because now he's kind of doing a lot of damage. Man, I probably should run. It'd probably be smarter to run, like, at least one more triangle. Now that, you know, now I think about it. You should still get S plus, though, but these are things to learn. Calm down, Earth. Fifty two is not bad. Still decent. So for this one, I'm going to grab the ice potency. Um, so now we're going to focus on the other ads. There should be some ads around here. these annoying things again. We only got one to deal with this time. This is good because this will help us get our ults up for the next fight. Go ahead and grab this. And there should be one more ad, I believe. Yep. Okay, there's three of them this time, so I think one hellfire should uh should help us out here. Takes care of one, takes care of the other, and takes care of the third. So now we'll be going into the fight with the, the, the Grash, I believe they're called. What are they called? Yeah, Grash Strikes. So for this fight... We're going to go ahead and drop a Blizzard Cocktail on Sephiroth, for sure. Um, if you need to use some supplements, go right ahead. Um... 
try and decide if I want to use a potion. Yeah, maybe we'll save the potions because we're going to be going into a real big fight after this. These guys aren't too tough. I'm not too worried about them. Especially because once you open up with Sephiroth, they get kind of wiped out. Like so. And then Sephiroth's probably going to end it right here, yeah. Should be a nice high score, yeah, 61. Barely got touched. Alright, so for this one, we're going to grab the physical defense and the magic defense. Because that's going to help with the last two fights. Yeah, so you guys could definitely better optimize this run. As you can see, like, things that would have been, that would have came in handy would have been, like, maybe some magic down or magic defense up. Stuff like that. Maybe more poison removal. Um, so for this fight, probably go for another... Probably go for a Blizzard Cocktail on Seth and a Fire Cocktail on Cloud, since he has Hellfire. Um, summon Gage. Yeah, probably use a Summon Gage for both. I'm going to be saving my summons until he gets about half health. I recommend you do the same, because... That's when he starts to really start pumping out damage. I think we should be good here. Uh, don't worry about supplements or anything after this. Because the box right after this fight is a tent, I believe. Or a cottage or something. It's a tent, actually. So let's get right in there. Let's try to get a nice high score on this. Here comes Fist Bash. That does a good amount of damage. Alright, he's going to send these ads out. They're annoying. But just keep focusing on him. Okay, now that he's in the red, bust that Hellfire. I don't think we'll need Diamond Dust. I kind of want to save Diamond Dust for um, Rufus to take out the dog in one shot. Now they should be able to handle the rest on their own. There we go. That should be a good score. 59, very good. This is an S plus incoming, so pay attention. So for this one, we're going to go ahead and grab the ice potency because we no longer need the fire. That's the tent. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use it. And then we're going to drop another Ice Potency on Seth. And even though we removed a lot of our Fire Potency, it still, you know, doesn't help, doesn't hurt to bring it back up by 30%. Help get this fight down quickly. Uh, other than that, everything should be fine. I think we're good to go. Let's get right up in there and finish the fight. 
And this should be an S plus. Gonna pop right off with a, a diamond dust. Hopefully one shots the puppy. Very good. Nice good shot on Rufus as well. Night Bloom. Rufus is going to be pretty annoying here. Come on. Yeah. Good interrupt. That must have been the Murasame. Nice. His defense is down. His magic defense is down. Yeah, this is going real good. Real smooth right now. Yeah, this is why you bring um, the magic ruin, war, ruin res, even though you have a physical unit. Oh, oh, oh. Let's go ahead and end it with a hellfire. That should finish it. Well, actually, it might not, because we did reduce our fire, but we're going to get diamond dust pretty much right now. And let's just finish it right here. Rufus, get the hell out of here. Where's your ugly-ass dog? Down for the count. Now, that should definitely be an S+. Plus, and that should finish the run. Boom, new record. You love to see it. And that's what I'm talking about right there. So I'll give you one more look at the at the team. Try to replicate it best you can. As you can see, I made mistakes in it and everything and still got way over the requirement for S plus. So yeah, there you go. Like I said, you can you can min max, you know, you can maybe put some more triangles because I did let the uh death machines get some of their um, sigil phases up and that kind of took away from the score yeah as you can see it didn't really matter all too much but anyway that's how it's done like and subscribe to the video if you want some more guides if you want some more videos let me know holla at me peace out